Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 most expensive vacation destinations. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. It's no secret that travel is costly, but it's also vital to understand, that certain travel destinations are more expensive than others. There are a limitless number of sites to visit around the world, but do your research, before planning a vacation so you can have an idea of how much it will cost. If you're looking for more expensive vacation spots, we've compiled a list of some of the most expensive spots on the planet. Number 10. New York City. New York is, naturally, one of the world's most popular tourist attractions. Many U.S. sectors, including various culture industries, are centered in New York City, which has long been a hub for both business and artists. Of course, the tourism business in New York benefits from this reputation, which brings in a lot of money. They explain the higher charges by citing increased demand and limited capacity, but the truth is that many hotels are just overpriced. With hotel rates starting at $730 per night for a luxury hotel, and an average of $350 for a mid-range hotel, NYC is not a destination for the budget traveler, unless you want to risk staying in a dive or take a chance on a blind deal. Given that the city that represents America also represents American excess, with a $1,000 Sunday and a steak that costs the same as your hotel, it's not unexpected that the city that represents America also represents American excess. Number 9. Paris. Paris, France, has become a major tourist destination, similar to New York. Paris has earned a reputation as a city of romance, thanks to its quaint café culture, the French love of pastries, wine, and chocolate, and images of the iconic Eiffel Tower lit up at night. With a long history and an influential role in the shaping of both Europe and the New World, Paris has also earned a reputation as a city of romance. The plethora of royal castles and sumptuous churches, many of which date from the Middle Ages, add to the city's attraction, and provide history fans, architecture aficionados, and even the typical traveler with a fascinating sightseeing excursion. All of Paris' fame, however, has resulted in the city becoming one of the most costly tourist destinations in the world. For the opportunity of staying with them for just one night, one hotel charges nearly $26,000. Number 8. Fiji. Fiji, contrary to popular assumption, is a group of 332 islands rather than a single island. According to numerous assessments, Fiji has established itself as one of the best and most exclusive holiday destinations in the South Pacific. The country is known for its natural beauty and isolation, as well as being a pristine island getaway with a strong spirit of environmental protection. The combination of exclusivity and remoteness on this list makes for a pricey vacation stay. While the larger islands are reasonably inexpensive to visit, many of the smaller islands in the country are privately owned, either by people or by resort companies, and most of them require exorbitant fees to visit. Some could argue that such luxury is a bargain, but with rates starting at just over $600 per night, this extravagant getaway is unlikely to match many travelers' budgets. Number 7. British Virgin Islands. The British Virgin Islands have a reputation for being a wealthy British playground. Sir Richard Branson, the Virgin Corporation's founder and CEO, owns a villa on a private island that he rents out to anyone who can afford it. The island of Guana is another pricey vacation spot. Guana does not have public access, therefore you must fly into Beef Island, and then take the resort's boat to your final location. Guana is around 895 acres in size, with white sand beaches and an average of 30 guests. Lessons in yoga and tennis are available. Snorkeling, bird watching, and outdoor activities such as hiking are among the other activities available. In low season, a sea view villa will set you back over $700 per night and prices only go up from there. During high season, you should expect to pay substantially more for a villa. After you've received the bill, you'll undoubtedly want to go to the club, a colonial great house, for a drink to help you forget about it. Number 6. Tuscany. Few people think of Tuscany when they think of Italy, but those who do may discover that less traveled or off the beaten path destinations aren't always a ticket to a cheap vacation. Despite the fact that more people visit places like Rome, Naples, Florence, and Venice, Tuscany remains one of the most costly regions in Italy. Tuscany's allure stems from its long history, which dates back to pre Roman times. Many of the hotels are ancient homes that have been renovated into opulent suites for wealthy visitors. 
Tuscany is a nice break for those who wish to get away from the tourist traps that many other Italian cities have become but its price tag isn't much higher than locations like Rome or Florence. The area is lovely and famous for its vineyards because much of Tuscany is still very rural, but the accommodations can be a little harsh. Some of the structures are simply old barns that have been transformed, and they still cost roughly $3,000 or $4,000 per week. You're looking at a pricey European holiday when you factor in a car rental you'll need one to move around and plenty of delectable truffle dishes. Number 5. Bora Bora. This little island in French Polynesia burns a large hole in the pockets of many visitors. Despite the fact that the island is lovely and offers a premium experience, an average night on the island will set you back at least $800 not including meals, of course. There's also the small matter of transportation. Flights to the middle of the South Pacific aren't exactly inexpensive these days. Bora Bora does, however, draw its fair share of celebrities, business leaders, and politicians. Unless you have your heart set on Bora Bora, there are a slew of lesser-known islands in French Polynesia to select from, many of which have lower rates due to lower demand and a less developed tourist image. This also means you'll be able to avoid the throng, thus giving you your own little island for half the price. If you really must visit Bora Bora, seek for all-inclusive holiday packages and hotels that give discounts for booking numerous nights. You can also save money by visiting during the off-season, which is between December and March. Number 4. Seychelles. Surprise! Another island getaway has been added to the list. The Seychelles, like Fiji, is a country made up of many islands. The island of Free Gate is located in the Indian Ocean, just south of the larger island of Mahé. Although the other islands can be pricey to visit, as well, Free Gate is what puts Seychelles on the list. Free Gate elevates the term expensive new heights. Windsurfing and guided hiking are two of the activities available. Villas must be hired for at least three days, and fees start at over $3,000 per day roughly $1,000 USD. Number 3. Dubai. In the last decade or two, there has been a lot of buzz about Dubai. This Middle Eastern hotspot has evolved into a beacon of modern excess, attracting wealthy visitors. Dubai was built by the affluent for the rich, as a playground for those who could afford it, thanks to its oil wealth. Dubai is all about spending money, from man-made islands to the opulent Burj Al Arab and soaring structures. If you're on a limited budget, you'll want to avoid this destination. Dubai lacks the culture and personality that attracts visitors to other pricey places. Even still, if you have to, you can spend $20,000 on a night at Dubai's nicest hotel. Number 2. Musha K. The Bahamas Exumas, or Out Islands, have long been a favorite of the wealthy and famous. Ernest Hemingway paid him a visit. One of them, according to David Copperfield, is home to the Fountain of Youth. And given the price tag on Musha K, you'd better hope he's correct. Musha K is one of Copperfield Bay's 11 islands, and like the others, it's an all-or-nothing proposition. You must hire the entire island for over $40,000 each night. Number 1. Oslo. Norway's capital is picturesque and charming, brimming with Scandinavian charm, and hearkening back to the country's Viking past. The vicinity of stunning mountain vistas and the famous fjords, as well, as rows upon rows of colorful buildings, can easily steal your breath away. Oslo, like its Scandinavian predecessors, is clean and safe, and the majority of the populace speaks near fluent English, making it simple for inexperienced tourists to move around and explore. Norway, on the other hand, is well known as Scandinavia's and Northern Europe's most expensive country. Despite the fact that the country is rich in oil, and its residents are generally well off, the country's higher wages, and relative riches have contributed to service and tourist industries charging roughly 20% more than anywhere else in Western Europe and 70% more than global norms. It's no surprise that Oslo is the most expensive city in the world. There are websites that give ideas and tactics for staying to a budget, such as where to discover cheap hotels, inexpensive eateries, and free activities in the city, for travelers wishing to explore Oslo on a budget. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.